Even if you've been living under a rock your whole life, you should have heard of this comedy show that has managed to snatch the heart of a large audience for 15 years. Would you believe that? And I think it's worth noting that the show is still in its prime with its last episode airing 7 years ago. It remained iconic and golden throughout its years. The show never failed to make us laugh, cry, and maybe cringe too. But have you ever wondered how it remained one of the best American sitcoms? Hey specialists, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going through The Office and talking about why you should definitely give it a try before it's gone from Netflix. For like, eternity. Number 1. The Cold Opens Cold opens are pretty much scenes before the opening sequence that often doesn't have a connection with the actual episode. The Office is known for many many things, but one thing they did better than anyone else was the cold opens. Starting in the second season, it's worth mentioning few of the brilliant short skits that were in the show. Like when Jim impersonated Dwight, or when Asian Jim made his entrance as a part of Jim's prank. The most iconic sequence had to be where that one golden meme was born. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! This was when Dwight pulled a fire prank since no one paid attention to his fire talk. Today, smoking is gonna save lives. These short humorous clips are usually done to further spark to the viewer's attention and interest. These skits are greatly designed as it can provide the office in a nutshell with a few minutes that could leave us laughing on the floor. With all the given scenes, I think it's safe to say that the office will hold the crown for the best cold opens for a very long time. Number 2. It's a mockumentary. Right from the start, it definitely was the best decision for the office to take this kind of route. They ask the audience questions, stare at the camera, and just interact as if they're with a human being, which makes you forget that you were watching a series. Their emotions are as raw as they can get too. You can tell Michael's hatred towards Toby, Jim and Dwight's weird friendship, and the likes. To make it better, they also know they're being filmed, which makes this kind of a mock reality show at some point. D'Angelo, we're in serious horse manure here. The Dundies are tonight, and we ain't got no host. Oh no! Many people had stirred away from the traditional sitcom that felt staged with the laugh tracks, and The Office provided a breath of fresh air. No laugh tracks, not too scripted, just the right amount of sarcasm and dark humor. Number 3. The Character's Chemistry In order for a show to work well, the cast itself has to help one another and just form a strong bond, right? Well, that's the office for you. The ensemble just works with one another so perfectly. There's no other way it would be the office if someone's missing. It's like, you just can't imagine Steve Carell not being Michael Scott or Rain Wilson not being Dwight Schrute. It just won't add up. They also provided a very detailed backstory for each one that made room for the amazing character development. I think the best example for this one is Michael Scott, who started off as very offensive, juvenile, and culturally tactless. And throughout the years, you see him grow into this more considerate, sensitive, kind manager who formed a family bond with his staff. It's worth noting that The Office was shot in a studio that made them isolated from the rest, which probably made them interact with each other more, which resulted in them genuinely liking one another. The cast also works in pairs, small groups, big groups, you name it. When you think of any side character, even with a minimal storyline, let's say Creed, you'll still think they're a regular and may even be a lot of people's favorites. Somehow. Because their chemistry stopped here, it just makes the show work. Number 4. The Running Gags A running gag is literally what you would think of a running gag. It's a joke or context that is technically running as it's been repeatedly mentioned or done throughout the show. These gags have been a long part of any sitcoms you watch, probably to be unforgettable or just to be reminded of the viewers when they finally use the lines in their daily lives. Setting aside, The Office had its fair share of these kinds of humorous lines. Think of Michael Scott's That's What She Said, or Jim's pranks on Dwight's and vice versa. Oh, did I forget? The cringe-worthy but also emotional Dundee Awards. 
Also, the classic gym look where Jim would just stare directly into the camera when something stupid or uncomfortable happens. These running gags are important to the show, not just to showcase how golden some scenes could be, but to also interconnect seasons, because believe it or not, sitcoms need to follow a timeline too. Whatever running gag you have in mind, The Office definitely provided enough humorous scenes to last for more than a decade. Number 5. They bring drama while remaining a comedy. One thing about sitcoms is that sometimes, the drama is so weirdly placed it feels like it's forcefully injected just to look realistic, but that's not the case for The Office. This show would definitely go great lengths to build up dramatic emotional scenes, and once it's played off, it will remind you that you came here for fun, not to be attacked. One good example is Jim's feelings for Pam when she was engaged, and the cycle of them going on increases the tension and drama without losing the comedic touch of The Office. You learn a lesson from the drama, and you get a good laughing cry from the humor. You're kind of a winner at this, it's a win-win. Number 6. It's Awkwardly Unscripted Last on the list is probably one of its main reasons how it took over the world by storm when it released, even since it ended. Remember that gay witch hunt episode? Where Michael Scott forcefully kissed Oscar? Or the seed scene between Dwight and Ryan? And just as you have planted your seed in the ground, I am going to plant my seed in you. Did you know these two popular comedic scenes are unscripted? The Office would often shoot their scenes multiple times, one scene that completely goes along the script, and others where the actors would improvise. Some of them would be cringeworthy, but some of them are just pure gold and deserve its spot on the screen. You would feel the secondhand embarrassment or awkwardness throughout a scene, but that's what made The Office its own kind. With the mentioning of scripts, most of the gazes and reactions in the camera are scripted, but it looks so natural that it feels normal. They are in their own element, with their own way of projecting the scripts and humorous scenes. Probably why The Office remained on top, it's just unexpectedly different, and you can't seem to stop watching it. That's it for our list, folks. We hope you give The Office its well-deserved chance before it's off the hook. If you've watched it, tell us in the comments section why you love this series. Until next time, this is your TV Specialists.